Hi everybody, this is a little bit more on um, my alcohol things that had happened. I was sent a vlog this morning by this very, very lovely man and it was one of the best vlogs I've ever seen. He, there's no pretense to it, he just comes straight out and says what, it, says what he needs to say and there's no ears and graces for the people out there or it's just a raw video and it's absolutely loved, I absolutely loved it, thank you so much. I won't mention your name because I don't know you that well to know whether you want me to say on here or not, so I won't. But there was one part in it that um, you said to me, it didn't sound like I had fallen off the wagon. Well, between the ages of 15 and 32, I fell off the wagon a million times, a million times. Because I would, I think the, a week was the longest I tried to stop. I would try and stop all the time and I couldn't do it and like I said a week was the longest and then I'd be back at it again so to say I didn't fall off the wagon I did trust me I did the other thing was that I wanted to say was this is for anybody out there that knows somebody that's recovering from alcohol or has recovered or family and friends this is a word to them don't bring up their past, okay? Don't say to them, thinking that you're doing them a favour, that, oh, I remembered you when you were so rolling drunk, you did blah, blah, blah. Because trust me, they live with that every single day of their life. They don't need to be told. I know this for a fact. I had family and friends say to me, oh, I remember when you used to call up and blah, blah, blah. And I would say to them, uh, if you don't mind, don't bring that up again because I rel relive my past every single day. I know exactly what I did. I know exactly what I was like. And I don't need somebody ripping my heart out by telling me again what I did because I already know. I'm not a silly woman. I was well aware of what I was like, who I called, what I did. So I don't need it to be reiterated by my family and friends. The other thing was, when I stopped drinking, it was like I had gone for a week in the past, but at that stage I wasn't drinking a lot like like I was at the end, like I was drinking every second day. And I was so violently ill that I could only drink every second day because the second day I was I had my head over a toilet bowl all day. I was even vomiting blood in the end. Um, so when I gave up drinking, to go to three, four days was a huge power trip to me. To go a week was like, you can't believe the power trip I was on. It, because all of a sudden I had control over something that had had control over me all my life. And now I had control over it. And it, I, I was just, an, it was a whole head thing with me. I just could not believe I was this powerful to be able to say no, to not take it, to not take it, to have that one extra day, to have that one extra day. And I think it got to maybe the second week when I realised that I had it beat. Because in that second week I knew that I would never go back to it. And to say it was easy when I gave up, it was not easy. It was very, very, very hard for me because everything I'm a very sensitive person very sensitive person everything everybody says to me says to me on the videos the comments I take to heart and I got a new pussycat her name's honey and little puss is walking around the room and she's growling at him so to be uh, not have that crutch of falling back onto alcohol that made me this strong person that nothing bothered Um, <clears throat> to deal with it by myself was extremely hard for me extremely hard I had months of feeling horrible and so it took a while but now he also asked <clears throat> I think um, oh, actually he didn't say in that video but somebody else asked what my life is like now it's completely different I have a I've, I'm very very happy I don't want for anything I uh, my life's completely different it's the that that person is no more when I the day I stopped drinking that person no longer existed anyway that's all for today I just had to get that off my chest and thank you so much the person you wrote uh, sent me that video you know who you are thank you that was absolutely lovely smile and have a nice day.